In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet a cute little bat applique. This small applique measures between four and a half and five inches wide, and it's about two inches tall. This is a quick, beginner-friendly project. I found so many uses for this bat applique. You can add it to a sweater, a bag, a granny square, make a garland, or even a magnet. For this project, you will need a three and a half millimeter hook, some four weight cotton yarn, a darning needle, and scissors. I am using 24 seven cotton, and I'm actually using a color other than black, which is the typical back color, because it is much easier to show you the stitches when it's not black. Let's get started. Begin with a magic ring. Chain three, this will count as a double crochet. Then work 11 double crochets in the magic ring. All right, so now we have 12 double crochets in the magic ring. Pull tight. And join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Next, we'll chain two, and in the same stitch, work a double crochet. Next, we'll make a pico stitch, so chain three. and slip stitch into the first chain. In the next stitch, work two double crochets. Make a pico stitch, so chain three, and slip stitch into the first chain. In the next stitch, work a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a slip stitch, all in the same stitch. Now we're gonna begin making our wing. So, chain 12. All right. 
beginning in the second chain from the hook, slip stitch, then half double crochet in the next three stitches. Then you'll work a single crochet in the next two stitches. Skip two stitches, then work a single crochet in the next three stitches. And finally, you'll slip stitch into the body of your bat. Chain one and turn your work. You'll skip the first stitch then work a single crochet in the next three stitches. Skip a stitch, then work a single crochet in the next three stitches. Turn your work. And then chain one. Slip stitch into the very next stitch, which is the last single crochet from the previous row. Slip stitch. then single crochet, skip a stitch, then single crochet, chain two, and slip stitch into that first chain. In the next stitch, work a single crochet. And slip stitch into the next stitch on the body. Now work your way to the other side of the bat for your next wing. Single crochet in the next three stitches. chain one and single crochet in the next four stitches. And slip stitch. Now all that's left is to complete the other wing. So turn your work. And chain 12.
Beginning in the second chain from the hook, slip stitch, then a half double crochet in the next three stitches. Then you'll work a single crochet in the next two stitches. Skip the next two stitches, then work a single crochet in the next three stitches. And finally, slip stitch into the next stitch on the body. Chain one and turn your work. Skip that very first stitch. Then work a single crochet in the next three stitches. Skip a stitch, then a single crochet in the next three stitches. Turn your work and then chain one. Slip stitch into the next stitch, which is the last single crochet from the previous row. Slip stitch again, single crochet in the next. Skip the next stitch and then single crochet. chain two and slip stitch into the first chain in the next stitch single crochet and finally slip stitch into the next stitch on the body Pull up your yarn and cut your yarn, leaving enough of a tail to weave in. To finish off your bat applique, simply weave in your ends and you're done. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this little bat applique. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.